What is up guys, Jeremy with Everything iDevice and welcome to another iOS 7 tutorial. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the new weather application. Uh, it absolutely blows the other uh, weather apps out of the water if you compare it to iOS 6. So I'm just going to go ahead and launch the new weather app right there. So as you can see it opens up my current location. It's beautiful outside today if you can't tell by the the actual animated uh, weather background as you can see that's that's an awesome touch to the weather application you got you know the new fonts and everything I think it looks really really gorgeous you have your normal uh, hourly forecast right here also you do have a five-day forecast below that so you can see even more um, now to check out your other locations which you have input with the weather you can do uh, three different things actually you can either swipe to the next location so there's Tokyo so we can go ahead and swipe back you can even pinch out of that view to see the, all the other locations. And if you don't like the pinch gesture, you can go ahead and click on the little I button there, and that will also back you out as well. So as you can see, I think the best part is the animated weather. I really like the way it looks. So uh, there's Tokyo. It's raining out. Uh, just, just a great effect to the weather app. There's Cupertino. And as you can see, the differences between, like, um, mostly cloudy, mostly sunny, partly cloudy, partly sunny. Uh, they all look different, which is really quite nice. So if you're cloudy in one location and then you check the other location and it's cloudy, it's not the same animated weather. It does have a different look. So here's Jakarta, also New York, Dubai, wish I could live there, clear, nighttime there, and then we have Seattle at the end there which is mostly cloudy. So if we back out here again, you can switch the units between Celsius and Fahrenheit if you'd like to. Um, also, if you want to add a new location, just click the little plus symbol and you can input a city, a zip code, or even a uh, airport location if you'd like, if you're traveling somewhere. So if we go back into the location, if you want to open up Yahoo Weather, you can go ahead and click on that little symbol. There it launches Safari, opens up Yahoo.com and it goes to the weather. Okay, blah, blah, blah. So that is the new weather app. That's pretty much all there is to it, guys. Uh, very, very simple. It's elegant, classy, just like the rest of iOS 7. I really like it. So if you guys did enjoy this tutorial, be sure to throw me a thumbs up because that does help me out tremendously. Also, if you guys want to see more iOS 7 tutorials or guides or walkthroughs, be sure to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.